Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Give us a like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and ding that bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Let's talk Batman, Penguin, and Hugo Strange. In Matt Reeves' The Batman, we were introduced to a gritty and grounded version of Gotham City. Robert Pattinson's Bruce Wayne, still in the early stages of his vigilante journey, confronts not only crime, but also the deep-rooted corruption festering within the city of Gotham. One character who stood out as a key player was Oz Cobb, the Penguin, played masterfully with some awesome makeup by Colin Farrell. The Penguin, though still a mid-tier crime lord at this point, is positioned to rise in the criminal underworld following the downfall of Carmine Falcone. And we're witnessing that on the Penguin TV show. And because of that, the Batman 2 won't follow Oz Cobb's rise to power. What if the Penguin TV series leads directly indirectly into one of Batman's most psychological and manipulative foes? What if it's leading us towards Hugo Strange. Let's talk about how the Penguin's evolution in Gotham's criminal landscape could organically lead to the arrival of Hugo Strange and why this pairing could set up a thrilling and cerebral conflict for Bruce Wayne. At the end of the Batman, we see Gotham in chaos. Falcone is dead and the Penguin, who's been biding his time in the shadows, is poised to take advantage of the power vacuum. As the Penguin will be gaining influence in the city, it's likely that his ambitions will lead to chaos, not just in the streets, but within Gotham's institutions. Penguin's ascent could also signal a rise in brutality, intimidation, and manipulation, things that Hugo Strange would undoubtedly take notice of. Gotham's ongoing descent into crime and disorder, exasperated by Penguin's rise, could create a desperate need for new leadership in law enforcement and public institutions. Enter Hugo Strange. In many comic iterations, Strange is not only a brilliant psychiatrist, but also a manipulative figure who thrives in corrupt environments. Gotham's leaders may turn to Hugo Strange to help solve the city's psychological problems, seeing him as an intellectual savior who can understand and outwit the criminal mind. Strange's expertise in human behavior could make him a consultant for Gotham's law enforcement, or even give him a role in Arkham Asylum, which would be a fitting setting given the city's heightened instability after the Flood and Riddler's attack. Hugo Strange's psychological approach could be presented as more refined intellectual method to clean up Gotham, in contrast to the brute force and corruption of Penguin. In various adaptations, Hugo Strange becomes obsessed with uncovering Batman's identity and understanding the psychology of the vigilante. Penguin can serve as a link between them. As Penguin expands his criminal empire, it's inevitable that his actions will catch the attention of Batman. This dynamic would bring Batman and Penguin into a frequent conflict, and this tension could draw Hugo Strange's attention. Imagine Hugo Strange watching from the shadows, fascinated by the ongoing battle between Batman and Gotham crime bosses. Strange, a man obsessed with psychology of Gotham's criminals, would see Penguin's rise as a symptom of a larger problem. Batman. Penguin could even seek Strange's help to manipulate the system or outwit Batman, which would provide Strange an opportunity to observe Batman up close. Hugo Strange is known for his ability to manipulate and play mind games, and Penguin, despite his intelligence and ambition, could fall victim to Strange's psychological tactics. Strange could offer Penguin his services as a consultant, helping him solidify his criminal empire. While in reality, Strange would be using Penguin as a pawn in a larger game, his ultimate goal to unmask and understand the Batman. Through Penguin, Strange could gain access to valuable information in Gotham's underworld and Batman's activities, further fueling his obsession with the Dark Knight. The psychological warfare between Batman and Strange could be intensified through Penguin's criminal machinations as Penguin's growing empire becomes a battleground for their intellectual and strategic duel. Arkham Asylum is likely to play a more prominent role in the Batman universe moving forward, with characters like the Riddler and Joker already incarcerated there. It's easy to see how Arkham could become a breeding ground for more of Batman's iconic rogues. Hugo Strange, in his role as psychiatrist or even head of Arkham, would have direct access to these villains. Penguin's rise could bring him into contact with Arkham's more dangerous inmates, leading to potential alliances or conflicts that further complicate Gotham's criminal landscape. Imagine Penguin needing to interact with Arkham inmates or even Strange himself to solidify his control of Gotham. Strange, in turn, could use his, these interactions to further study Batman's world, deepening his understanding of the city's vigilante and criminal mind alike. 
The brilliance of bringing Hugo Strange into the Batman 2 lies in the contrast between him and Penguin. While Penguin represents the physical and logistical threat to Gotham's order, Strange represents the intellectual and psychological threat. Penguin is driven by power, greed, and survival in Gotham's criminal underworld, whereas Strange is driven by obsession, control, and a deep fascination with the human psyche, especially the Batman's. By placing these two villains in parallel, we can see how Penguin's rise to power could inadvertently lead to the arrival of a far more dangerous adversary. Strange's psychological warfare would be the perfect counterbalance to Penguin's low street-level tactics, allowing for a multifaceted threat to Batman. In The Batman 2, the Penguin's ascension to criminal kingpin could serve as a perfect narrative gateway to introduce Hugo Strange. Penguin's rise could destabilize Gotham, creating a need for someone like Strange to step in with the promise of order through psychology. Penguin's actions would draw Batman deeper into the fray, while Strange would watch, study, and plan. Ultimately, Penguin could become the catalyst for Strange's obsession with Batman, setting up a thrilling, cerebral confrontation that would push Bruce Wayne to his mental and emotional limits. The Penguin may be the face of Gotham's criminal empire, but Hugo Strange would be the puppet master pulling the strings, orchestrating chaos not through brute force, but through manipulation and control. The dynamic would make The Batman 2 not just a continuation of Gotham's story, but a deeper dive into the psychological warfare that defines the relationship between Batman and his rogues. Let me know what you guys think. Dr. Hugo Strange making his way to The Batman 2. Will he be introduced in the Penguin series? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.